Our next stop is at Charleston Middle School where philosophical farmer Clyde Fenton talks with students about growing strawberries and how they can take those strawberries from farm to table. Welcome to this segment of the Philosophical Farmer. I'm here today with Sarah Lane. She's with the Ag Department working with the Early Childhood and Farm to School program. We're here once again at Charleston School and we're here for their super summer event. Kids have worked really hard. They've worked with a garden. They've worked with these recipes and they put this smorgasbord of strawberry recipes together. And it's really neat. We've talked to a lot of the kids today and uh, they're gonna be talking about the different things that they did. In my station, we're making a strawberry and vegetable salad. And right now we're just cutting everything up and then we'll put the lettuce and stuff and we're making, putting sunflower seeds. So just something new and we never tried it. So we're excited to try something new. We're making like fruit kebabs. We're cutting up the bananas, strawberries, uh, pineapples. And we're making diff two different combines. We're making blueberry and everything else and then we're switching to strawberries. Um, you have to like cut them in half, take out the insides and then we have to like make frosting for it and then you have to um, like mush and break um, graham crackers and then you like sprinkle it over the frosting and then you put it in the freezer and then so Farm to School has three pillars, school gardens, which we have right here at Charleston Middle School. It's education about gardening, cooking, and nutrition. And then it's eating local foods, a part of local procurement. So Farm to School is those three pillars and every school can do something unique to them. And it's so incredible to be out here today and get to see all three of those in action. You know, the kids helped grow the strawberries in their school garden, they harvested them, then they just cooked recipes with them and they're learning all about facts about strawberries. So I, I love to see this in action. Um, Charleston's not the only school in Arkansas that does farm to school. You know, we've been able to count over 300 school gardens in our state at early childhood centers. Um, we see them at K-12 schools. We even see them at alternative spaces like juvenile detention centers. So really all across Arkansas, farm to school is happening and it's a huge shout out to the incredible teachers and administration who want to take on this awesome opportunity and provide innovative hands-on opportunities for their students. By working in the garden, I uh, helped us by learning what environment they live in and uh, how much water and sunlight it takes to keep them alive in the cold and hot weather. And by building around them, they've seemed to be almost adapting to the environment out here already. And I'm pretty sure it's helping them. Dig a little hole and then drop the seed in. Yeah. And they just let nature do its thing. And when we were going to strawberries, we learned that it needs water, sunlight, and just like growing every single day. And we made the like platform where the strawberries are, we made it bigger, like the width bigger. And that's pretty much it what I helped with. I learned like it's sometimes better to grow your stuff than to buy it because growing it makes it like makes it taste a little bit better and more healthy. And when you buy like something store bought, it might not say it has added sugar, but it could have added sugar and you just didn't know. Yeah, especially if like we ever run out of food and the grocery stores aren't open, we could just go out to the garden and get the food out there. So it's resourceful too. You know, my heart has always been education. I love teaching people and so I love to see what's going on here. I was looking for something to appropriate, appropriate to share today and I found a quote from Ben Franklin that I thought just absolutely fit the event. Ben Franklin said this about education. He says, tell me something and I'll probably forget. Teach me something and I may remember. Involve me and I'll learn. Guys, what we've seen here today at the Charleston School was kids getting involved. And I think this is the greatest opportunity for learning that there is. Really looking forward to the involvement here in the future and what these kids are gonna learn with this program.